Hi, welcome to Garden Hut and welcome to my back garden. I'll stand aside so you can see all the beautiful looking roses. There's lots on YouTube about bare root roses, giving tips on how to plant them. There's not much explaining some of the problems you'll encounter when planting them out and how to get around them. So that's what this video is about. I'm going to break it up into two parts. In this video, I'll look at what the bare root roses are and the problems you can come across in planting them. Plant two, I'll follow up by showing you how to deal with some of the problems using a real life rose example. So here we have the bare root rose. It consists of the rootstock and the stems, which aren't particularly long, as you can see, probably about just over the length of my hand. It's important to choose a spot that gets at least six hours of direct sunlight a day. The more sun, yeah, the more hours of direct sunlight, the better. But this can be the difficult part. The rose can be placed in a sun-drenched spot, but due to only the short stems protruding from the soil, the surrounding plants and garden structures, it's difficult to know if the sunlight is actually hitting the rose. In other cases, you may place the roses in a particular spot where they may perform well for the first few seasons, and you may think that you've made a good decision. It then gradually weakens over a few seasons into a pretty spindly looking specimen due to the lack of light. Before I go any further, take a moment to subscribe to the channel. By clicking the subscribe button, it's easy to lose contact in the world of YouTube and by subscribing, you'll be notified of future videos, gardening videos I put out. The best specimens you see are usually planted in open spaces or against south or west facing walls where they're basking in sunlight for most of the day. If you plan to plant in this situation, you can plant them out straight out and there should be no problem in them growing into healthy specimens. If you plan to plant in and around other plants or close to garden walls or other structures, I'd suggest doing the following. What I like to do before I plant them out into the garden is put them in potting compost in a pot And then just leave them in the sunniest part of the garden where they're going to get absolutely baked in sunshine. <laughs> 